Hey, how's it guys? It's Nick and Rich here, Polywog. Rich is reviewing the black box PU from JS in Swallowtail. Well, hey you guys. So today we're having a look at the black box 3. We've previously done a, um, a review on the half hour black box 3 in, um, in the Squash Tail. Um, so yeah, rad to have a little chat about the, the black box three in regular PU. Um, yeah, one thing with with the JSs, um, you know, they're um, they're made in Australia. Um, these guys haven't really wanted to license any of their boards out. They've they've sort of traded hard on the fact that they are made in Australia. Um, and again, I mean, you know what. And I'm always mindful, without any discredit to, to, to the local factories and the local guys that are producing boards. And until you have physically seen and picked up one of these, you are not really going to fully be able to appreciate the high quality finishes on these boards. I mean, they're exceptional. This is a PU. Um, and I've had a lot of people firsthand see the boards lying around and go, oh, that's a nice EPS. And I'm like, no, that's not an EPS, that's a PU. Mm. So for me, that's been really nice to see because it's a testament to the quality of these boards and the finish on, on, on them. As you can see, um, again, I hate to sound like a stuck record, but I'm terrible on my boards. You can see the deck sink in there. Yeah, yeah. But, <clears throat> no, no, no. Hey, no worse actually or, or or no less than some of the locally produced boards so yeah. <clears throat> i guess that's a testament to the factories that are producing the crs the mayhems and uh, the claytons uh, yeah yeah the wear and tear is very similar um the swallowtail in the black box three this board was was particularly enjoyable. I, I rode it first as a thruster, um, just with my regular old favorite AM2 fin. Um, man, found the board to be really nice. Obviously the Swallow gave for great kind of whippy release in, 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 in the pocket. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, what I really like about the, the Swallow is when you put this thing on rail with a very hard edge here and I mean, this thing has got almost more of a pronounced concave than the um, than the Hafa, yeah. um, which made this this board incredibly fast and incredibly nice on the rail. Like sink, dig in, accelerate out of the turn. Like really, really nice. Um, Sadly, didn't really get to ride this board in, in too much of sloppy beach break stuff. It was more kind of running down the line waves where, where this board was, was ridden and tested. Um, highly, re highly recommended as a, as a, you know, if, if you don't have the bucks to have a significant quiver and you can yeah. only have a hand <laughs> boards, this board is, is, is certainly worth considering. A very, um, a very sort of safe, safe option. 100%. Yeah. Very safe. It's going to go in the small stuff, it's going to go in the good stuff. Um, nice thing is, very fast, very responsive. Mm. Um, and I know you've spoken, about the, you've spoken about the swallowtail, because I mean, you know, a lot of guys just think if they want something that's quite versatile, uh, you know, safe go-to board, they're generally thinking of your sort of standard squash box type of, type of tail. Um, but obviously, JS has sold a hell of a lot of those black box three in the Swallow. Um, yeah, so this, the Swallow tail, you know, like you said, it's that rail to rail sort of feel. Um, so it's really just a different sort of surfing. Uh, you know, what, what, you, what sort of feedback you want from the board. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, oh, cool, yeah, so that's a sort of medium rails. You know, JS said that that's a sort of one to four foot type of type of board um we know from the from your review of the hi-fi you said that that uh although that was the um, squash tail uh 
still goes in six foot plus. Oh, 100%. So when it got slightly bigger, I put the quads in this thing. Um, so again, personal feedback, but mindful that everybody's different. Everybody surfs different. Um, probably in the swallow, prefer the thruster a little bit more. Yeah. I found the quad started getting like, it, it, it definitely had more speed. Yeah. Um, maybe I needed to just give it a little bit more time to, to work it out, but, it, but mm. with the quad, it felt a lot more directional, you know, like. Yeah. Yeah, because you got the, because you got the bite of that like swallow tail, you know when it's, yeah, so when it's on the rail and you've got that swallow tail, you've got two fins and the points of that swallow all pointing you in one direction. Yeah. So it, like it, it, you know, like it had that extra speed. So like it mm. almost like it would it almost yeah. started like getting away from you a little bit. Yeah, yeah, um, makes sense. But look, that being said. Um, Oh gosh, an extremely hollow barreling wave. Mm. I have no doubt that quad would be yeah, pretty bad. Yeah. Um, yeah. So that board, that board generally, you know, type of type of fin you would a good average fin for that board would be either be something like an FCS reactor, which is more of a straight up like similar to the old the KS two point um, yeah. or otherwise otherwise the performer. Yeah, something like so. I, as I say, I wrote it with the AM2, but I, mm. I, the fin I probably would have really liked to try and ride it with is uh, the McFanning fin. Okay. It's got, we've got futures boxes, so. Yeah. Um, um, I definitely think the, 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 the McFanning fin would, would, be, be, this, would be the one there. Um, yeah, likewise, even the, even the Parzels, um, mm. you know. Yeah, yeah. Now is that is that more you more saying that to get that board to perform in in better waves, or is that just sort of average? Well, yeah, I think the parcels are really sort of drivey, you know, mm -hmm. and, 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 and a little bit more curvy. So yeah, yeah. So more of the bigger stuff. So yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah, because I mean from. From what I've experienced in terms of you know those that that type of board with the swallowtail fife and setup, I found the reactors go quite well if you're going like two three foot just your very average sort of semi grovel, um, I seem to be a good option too. So, so yeah, if you're looking at a at a good versatile board, we'd say you know something like like the reactor for the smaller days, the more sort of grovelly onshore thing, and then as soon as it starts to turn on, cleans up, gets a little more groomed. You're going to be looking at the the Mick Fannings and the Pizel, sort and of the AM, and the AMs, yeah, yeah. I mean, AMs, sure. Still, definitely, probably one of the best-selling fins globally. Oh yeah, it is right for now. sure. I mean, I like you know, everyone, everyone's got a set of AMs. I think. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. So yeah, that's the Ooh. black box three solo. Um, highly recommended. Um, Excellent quality, and yeah, for an import, not too far, off, not too far off the pace price-wise, and mm. um, yeah, you just know you're getting a good quality, well-researched, lots of R and D gone into into that. From yeah, one of the best shapers in the world, man. Always, <laughs> <laughs> always good so, value for money. That man to have. Okay. Uh, board from one of the best shapers you know mm, mm. straight out of his own factory straight out of his own factory there's the That's little sun cool so yeah okay. shout to you guys okay, hope Rich. that's helpful and Go just on. remember to drop us uh, an email or give us a call and yeah. we're happy to talk boards all day long with you yeah that's it cool ciao rich cheers Rue.